Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm talking a bit quieter today because it is late night. Your boy got home very late from work, but the upload must come out. So that's why we are talking a bit quieter. But welcome to another video. More content today that we need to talk about. And I need to show you some graphs and just start to get your mind right for what could be coming this Friday. Because I think a lot of people are overlooking this type of market drop and type of uh just market like hype i guess you could call it it could be happening this weekend with batch three team of the season cards coming back into packs this friday but first things first summer showdown is the name of the game right now in foot real madrid did beat granada today two to one vinicius jr is gonna go to a 95 rated card i would expect this upgrade to happen probably by wednesday uh, it seems like they've been taking one to two days to upgrade these cards. They're plus three rating uh, to the applicable winners. We had Phil Foden and uh, Diaby so far as the uh, summer showdown winners that you could have gotten so far. So obviously it's really nice to see a card that a lot of people did. I mean, this card's going to be insane with a 95 rated boost. Uh, we're talking probably over 90 finishing. We're talking uh, almost maxed out agility and balance. That strength is going to get a boost. The composure is going to go over 90. It's just going to make this card that much better. His shot power might almost get maxed out, which is actually massive because this guy feels really, really good in a game. Five goals and seven assists for me from a left center mid position is awesome during the weekend league uh, this weekend. This guy feels great, honestly. So really stoked that Real Madrid got that win today. And also, we got two new Summer Showdown SBCs that we have to talk about. Arguably the best right back in the game with a 95 possible upgrade for Danilo, right? For Danilo this year. He's already gotten a special card through the, I think it was like Storyline, right? Uh, level 30 objective card. But this guy with a plus three boost is going to be insane as well. Going to go all 90 statistics except for shot. Uh, and his stats right now look ridiculous already. I, have, I haven't watched any player reviews. I haven't heard much about this guy. Uh, but for an 85 rated squad that is very craftable through the 82 to 88 SBC, this seems like a W for me. Best Brazilian right back in the game. Uh, probably the best Brazilian right back we're going to see this year uh, for this card. I think if you're doing either the, you know, if you're going to do a summer showdown SBC, I think you have to do uh you ha you have to do danilo this card does look very interesting and with a plus three boost would be incredible um but still uh jordan lukaku's card does look pretty good four star four star high medium left mid kind of an interesting position and an interesting card but it could have club 90 stats if he does get a sizable plus three boost if they do end up winning the game but of course juventus aka piemonte calcio atop the league at the moment ronaldo and dibala are scoring goals in their sleep so uh i think that piemonte calcio would win again this match is next monday so we're gonna have to wait another freaking week for these cards to get their possible upgrades and for us to uh even just get hype about this game kind of the same situation that we had today uh with ea sports tweeting out all the stuff about the real madrid game which is kind of cool right like this whole this whole thing is, is kind of interesting and kind of cool uh, because EA, whoa, am I getting some lazy sales? Oh my goodness, I'm getting some lazy sales, boys. Let's go. Uh, you know, EA is kind of just making some hype out of it, which I, I actually rate. I rate that they are tweeting out stuff about these live upgrades for the Summer Showdown cards. I'm a big fan of that, honestly, uh, what they're doing with this promo. But again, since we got a right back Brazilian, which is catching a lot of people's attention, what kind of stuff did we see on the market today? And this is the first thing that I do want to talk about. I had bought a lot of right backs uh, in the panic selling yesterday because that is a card version that really doesn't have a lot of um, summer heat cards. We've got Mbabu, you know, but we haven't had a lot of objectives or SBCs other than Mbabu related to right backs. And uh, there were some right backs that took some hits in price today. Carvajal Hall was 190K uh, Sunday night, even after the weekend league had finished. And now he's down to 165,000 coins right there that got bought with a shadow. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold is another one that I bought. So I kind of got, not burned, but I kind of had to take a couple tax losses today on some of these TOTS cards. Now Trent's back up at 200k, which I bought a, bought a bunch of them at 185. So I'm still looking good on Trent. And Carvajal, honestly, could bounce back a little bit. Uh, but the right backs on the game today did drop off a bit because of the Danilo uh, card that did come out. Let me check Lala. 
as well. I'm guessing he's like 450 or 460 maybe. Uh, wow, Lala took a hit in price there. Are you serious? 420,000 coins for this mad lad who was literally 500k this past weekend. So that tells me that maybe some people are transitioning from French to Brazilian maybe on some of the right sides in their ultimate team. So that's pretty interesting to me. Uh, I'm guessing a guy like Delict, team of the year, went up today. I'm for sure this car would have went up today with a, a link. This is a very good card in this game regardless. 520k for 460. Yeah, I'm sure this guy went up today. I haven't actually looked at his graph. Let's take a peek. But I bet we did see this card go up today because this is the perfect type of link that people would buy to link up with that Danilo. 460. Yeah, he was 420,000 coins this weekend, man. What was he this morning? 420k, peaked up to 468. He's still around the 460, 470 range. So this guy, you know, is probably going to stay high, kind of like last week uh, with some of those cards we did see. Again, I'm still talking a lot about goalkeepers, man, because a lot of people did Langley. This guy's down from 240? Yo, this guy was 240,000 coins all weekend after Langley came out. He was 200 teens today. Yo, man. This is still a card that I think you can keep your eyes on because regardless of who people use at their right back position, a lot of people have that Langley card. Uh, so they're going to be trying to link this guy uh, to him. So I would definitely keep an eye on Ter Stegen's team of the season card, even the gold item, honestly, uh, which is out of packs because of batch two. Just be careful with it. Um, but it could be a car that you see rise a little bit on later this week, 46, 47 K maybe for Ter Stegen. That's kind of interesting, uh, right there, but you know, not a ton of huge market movements today. If you're going to do one or either of these SBCs, I would say definitely try to craft it with the upgrades because it's only one squad and, uh, that's a W, right? That is a W that is only one squad, uh, on this game. The other interesting thing that we got today was a this SBC right here, man. They're, we're turning in 11 players to get a one UCL rare player back. This would have been somewhat relevant in FIFA 19 when the UCL cards were not tradable and not packable on the market. Uh, when they were only available through SBCs. That's how they were in FIFA 19. So it was actually hype for these SBCs back then. Now, no. There's really no hype for this SBC. I do not understand why EA released that today. That is a, an L of an SBC in my opinion, but it is what it is. And the main thing I want to talk to you guys about today is, well, first of all, what could we see today on the market? I think it's very possible we get a Tuesday party bag set to release. So just kind of watch your SBC fodder um, and the way that that stuff looks right now on the game. It doesn't look like too crazy. SBC fodder is, is still inflated, but I think while well, 70,000 coins for 86s, 87s are up like one to 2,000 coins a piece, I feel like we're getting a party bag SBC because the first one is only out for two days or three days, I think, and it might be expiring soon. Uh, so I think we'd probably do another party bag SBC very, very soon. If not today, then maybe tomorrow on Wednesday um, in foot as well. So keep an eye out for that. That's a possibility for today. But this is what I really wanted to kind of show you guys. I tweeted this out earlier today. This is the main point of the video today, honestly, is watching these team of the season cards and looking at the drops that they had last year for footies. Now, this year, it's going to be a bit different. And I mentioned this in my tweet today, which is what we're viewing. But this is Neymar team of the season last year going from 9.8 million coins two days before he goes back into packs during batch three of footies down to 3.7 million coins a week after he is in packs. That is a 9.8 million. The guy dropped 6 million coins on the market in literally a week. In literally a week. And another example, because if you're like, yo, that's Neymar. What about some of the other lower tier Tots cards? Iago Aspas, 270,000 coins in the weekend league sell-off right before he goes back into packs. Bang. 50,000 coins the next week. From 270K to 50K. Now, are we going to see that type of drop-off? All over the place this year in my opinion no we are not going to see that type of drop off this price for Messi is really cheap man what the heck wow people are really panic selling the Messi's uh interesting 1.9 million for team of the season Messi honestly though man if you have some cards still that are team of the seasons I know they're dropping on the market I know they're losing their value 
but I would still sell them because again, just these types of things like last year, you're going to see major, major drop-offs in price uh, when these cards do come back in a pack because one thing that EA does a really good job of doing during batch three, at least last year they did, they did a really, really good job of boosting the pack weight. So these cards were actually pretty packable uh, and they weren't super duper hard to pack as evident by the Neymar uh, price, right? Neymar was, what was he's like, price 6 million coins, 7 million coins when he was in packs, rose 2 mil out of packs, up to 9, and then down to 3.7 when he got re-released. So these cards were very rare last year. Team of the Seasons aren't as rare this year as they were last year, in my opinion. Um, but still, uh, you're, they still have a lot of ways to drop on the market. Now, of course, a guy like Richarlison has been 1.7 million at some, at some point. He's already down to 650 K. So is a guy like this going to drop down to like a hundred K? No, a guy like this, since he's already dropped so much is probably only going to drop down to like 400, 350 to 400,000 coins in my opinion. So the drop-offs aren't going to be as drastic as last year because we've already started to see these drop offs because of the content they have put out during summer heat. People are selling these team of the season cards, going and turning in uh, for fodder SBCs. Like, man, look at this, 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 uh, this Mane card, man. He's 850,000 coins, Mane team of the season. And if you remember, literally two months ago, when this dude was in team of the season himself, uh, when he first came out into packs, this guy was a 2 million coin card, 2.2 million coins the first weekend of team of the season. He's down over like almost 1.5 mil from that time frame down to 850,000 coins. So the drop-offs are not going to be as drastic as they maybe were last year. As we're looking at that Neymar graph, as we're looking at the Iago Aspas graph, just for a few examples, you're not going to see drop-offs that extreme. But you are going to see some drop-offs because these guys are going to get supplied. There's going to be more and more and more of them on the market because people are going to be packing them, grinding SBCs. And again, one major thing that we are going to see is saved up packs. More and more people keep talking about, hey, yo, I'm saving up packs. Am I going to be able to uh, pack one of these TOTS cards from my saved up packs that I have going on? And yes, that is very possible that you could pack them. But it's going to be kind of like the... Community team of the season, Premier League team of the season, and I think this the first week of foot birthday type vibes this Friday. They're going to see a lot of panic selling in the first hour to two hours and a lot of supply on the market of people opening packs. A lot of prices are going to dip really low then and then bounce back for the weekend league. Other people have been asking, since these team of the season cards are coming back into packs, what does that mean for a guy like Foot birthday Mbappe, who is somebody that I that you, somebody watching this video, really might want for your team, right? Now Mbappe is down to like 4.3 mil, 4.2 mil, uh, 4 mil flat, man. Wow, 4.099 mil. So this guy keeps dropping. Honestly, I think a lot of the rest of the market is gonna continue to drop as well. If you look at graphs from last year, almost all of the entire market sold off a lot during batch three of last year because so many people. Uh, said, why would I own this version of a card that is a foot birthday version? Like foot birthday Mbappe last year, the left wing, 91 rated. It went down like uh, a really big chunk uh, during batch three when he wasn't even in packs because of the um, team of the season version coming out and just being a lot cheaper on the market. So people sold that version to go play with a better version of that card on the market. And that is what happens a lot during this time as well. So honestly, if you got for birthday cards, unless it's like St. Maximin, uh, obviously a guy like Alan St. Maximin could be somebody who um, you see a possible up boost in in price because this guy is so meta and so overpowered, it's ridiculous. Um, but still, I would be very scared to say I think a lot of these guys are going to rise out of packs right away. Now, I do think a guy like St. Maximin will rise towards the end of batch three, maybe even the middle of batch three. Uh, as we head towards the end of the Summer Heat promo. And we'll talk about that stuff later in this week as well. But if you have Team of the Season cards and you haven't sold them yet, I honestly would beg you to probably take the cash on them, even though they're down, even though a guy like Lala is 410K, 420K, and he was 470 just yesterday, I would still take the coins, 
and get out while you can because a lot of these cards are just going to drop lower with all the new summer heat content that keeps coming out every single day in this game now of course it does seem like they've kind of toned back the content it's not as hype as it was uh, but they could very easily turn back up the content and you know just crank that lever up for batch three uh, which is coming out on friday a lot of stuff coming on friday so again my advice for you guys today is get liquid honestly i would get pretty liquid if you if you don't need to have coins or you don't need to have cards in your club um i'm staying pretty liquid uh, just amidst some trading endeavors i guess you could say um but i would say pretty liquid man and i think i would get your tots cards sold if you haven't already and then if you want to do something on the game honestly just sit here and craft upgrade sbcs it is very cheap to do uh bronze pack method fill your club with bronzes and then get seven golds and do the 82 to 88 and just spam that sucker over and over and over and you'll be able to craft a guy like Danilo, Jordan Lukaku, Wijnaldum, which I need to craft at some point this week pretty easily. So that is what I would do this week on the game. And of course, if you wanted to grind uh, objectives as well, you could probably grind uh, Coman and Resilian for some high rated fodder cards. And I need to do Bruno Fernandez this week. So I get that 94 in my club as well. So yeah, man, kind of a quiet, you know, Monday on the game. We'll see what Tuesday brings, possible party bag, maybe just a random foot birthday or excuse me, a summer heat player SBC. That could be something that we look out for today as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.